this video tutorial I am going to show you the connection between iPhone and Apple Watch. I am going to make a simple application from where I am going to send a message from iPhone to watch and vice versa watch to iPhone. My name is Anish Malik and uh, welcome to Gyan Laboratories. Let's begin. I have already created a project. Uh, just uh, go to the target, click plus button. On the top click on watch OS and select the watch app for iOS applications. Give it a name whatever you want. I am going watch app. It will create two folders watch app folder and watch app extension folder. Watch app uh, having a storyboards and watch extension having a code. So let's begin. I already taken a button and a label. Button uh, is uh, from button I will going to send a message to watch, and in label I will dis I will show message from uh, the message which come from a watch. Same thing I will do for a watch. I will set a label and a button. Let assign it. We will use watch connectivity framework and uh, as a delegate we will use WC sessions. WC session have to connection between the watch kit and the iPhone applications. So we, uh, let's take let's import watch connectivity uh, and uh, extend WC session delegates. Okay. The same thing we will do on uh, watch extensions. So they, there is no need for this, just place it somewhere. Now let's take variable session is equal to WC session. Uh, let us uh, assign it if session wc session dot is support it will check whether wc session is supported or not uh, with a particular device session is equal to wc wc session dot default Let's set, set a delegate is equal to self and activate it. We will do same on uh, interface controller. Import watch connectivity. Extend the WC delegate WC session delegate. whatever delegate uh, it will just pop up okay place it at the bottom okay now uh, let's send a message from iPhone to Apple watch if let valid 
if let value session is equal to self dot session let's check whether it is reachable or not is reachable now to send a message to the watch we need to create a dictionary let dictionary string any iphone message it is a key and that's a pass a value okay let's send a uh, uh, now what we need to do we need to do it's we need to send a message to watch send message okay pass it dictionary over here set nil set nil now uh, to catch to catch uh, the message from a watch we are going to use did receive message function session this is your message let print it to check whether it is giving us message or not message from iphone the same thing we will do over here let create uh, let uh, declare dictionary string we are doing the same thing we are sending message from watch to iphone watch hello iphone as any now we need to declare it session over here let session let set it where equal to wc session dot default session dot delegate is equal to self now activate it okay okay one thing we need to is session dot send message send dick over here nil nil okay we did uh, math we did, we just uh, do we just send a message from both sides there is a button label on our apple watch and iphone we have triggered the we have triggered message from iphone to watch and watch to iphone watch to iphone this is vice versa the same thing we will do over there just copy this and paste it over here message from watch okay everything is perfect let's test this out whether it is working or not so let's do one thing what uh, we do uh, as we get a message from a watch let's print that message on a label so we are already declared label on a iphone so just do that we need to process the dictionary which will come from a watch to get the value if let uh, value from message so what dictionary we have used on watch on apple watch just pass it key over here as string self dot lbl lbl or dot text is equal to value the same thing we will do on watch extension
show message or set text value so we just need to change the key uh, what key we will use we will use icon message let's set it over here okay let's test it out don't set watch connection over here set watch app and uh, select iphone select ios emulator apple watch series 5 40 mm it is already installed in this uh, now it is installing now let's open it let's check whether it is working or not Okay, you can see uh, I just click button on iPhone and it get triggered on watch extraction, but it is working perfectly from iPhone to Apple Watch. So we get we get message from our iPhone to Apple Watch. Now let's check whether message is going from watch to iPhone or not. Okay, you can see hello iPhone. As I click on button on watch, it will send a message hello iPhone. I get printed on iPhone cellometer. The same thing uh, from iPhone to Apple Watch. Let's test it again so you can get clearly. You can see it is installing first on iPhone, then on Apple Watch. Okay, let's test vice versa. First, I click button. So it sent a message to iPhone. Hello, iPhone. Now send message from iPhone to Apple Watch. Hello, watch. So it is working perfectly. So you can do whatever you want to do uh, using these connections by implementing a function or whatever uh, thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like it and subscribe the channel i will come up with more interesting videos and all that thank you very much bye bye